Hi there, Alphonse here, and coming up next, we're going to do some analysis of uh, a BBC video that was done on the morning of 9-11. It was a fireman and a cameraman, and they heard something come from the top of the World Trade Center towers, and the cameraman pans up after he hears this sound, and then you'll see that the building will start to collapse. This is on... Uh, very slow motion. See, there they heard the sound. Now they're looking up. Cameraman pans on up to where the, he heard the sound come from, apparently. And he goes up, goes a little bit too far left, and has to pan back. And there is the World Trade Center Tower about to collapse, but it isn't collapsed yet. There it goes. Now it's starting to collapse. <clears throat> yep, so this is a really good evidence that the uh, collapse began after the sound. That means something else. It wasn't uh, a floor hitting a floor that caused the sound. We can say that with great certainty. And next up, we'll look at some stills of a squib that precedes the collapse. You see those white blobs? There's one about one-third of the way up the screen right in the middle. That's a squib coming out of the building, and a squib is just a high-energy, high-velocity puff of smoke. There it is, one-third of the way up the screen, right in the middle. It's a high-velocity uh, puff of smoke that comes out of the building, which is indicative of uh, explosions. There it is right there. You can see it really plain. And next up, we'll watch the uh, video with sound uh, in real-time motion. Okay, uh, the speed of sound at uh, sea level is 340.29 meters per second, so it took the sound about 1.235 seconds to travel 420 meters, and I estimated the cameraman and the fireman's distance from the World Trade Center towers at 50 meters, I just guessed. But we can, we can see that it was about 420 meters. Uh, from where the sound originated. It's P Pythagorean theorem of a right triangle. So now, 47 frames after the sound originated, uh, the building starts to collapse. 47 frames at 15 frames per second equals 3.133 seconds, plus 1.235 equals 4.369 seconds between the time the sound originated and the time that the collapse began, almost 5 seconds after the sound originated. Well, the bottom line here is that the sound was not created by a pancake of one floor smashing into another. Something else created the sound. Now, let's speculate about what that could be. Not a pancake. Can't be a pancake. Almost five seconds after the sound originated the collapse began. Yep. So the sound could not have been created by the results of a floor hitting a floor and a pancake collapse. There were no floors hitting floors, as we can clearly see. In the slow motion video and the real time video. So, this is uh, a definite refutation 
of the pancake collapse theory. Couldn't have happened that way. And this is really good, solid, incontrovertible evidence. Irrefutable, incontrovertible evidence that the pancake collapse did not happen. Something else caused the initiation of the collapse. And I'm going to speculate and say it was probably a bomb. Just fair. 